Let's eat! Yes. Yes. It's a problem program. What's up, guys? It is Wednesday. It is hump day. It is March something. It's, it's, it's a middle day in March. I just got home from a training session with my coach and I am so pooped. I have, oh, nice mascara running down my face. Don't mind me. Um, but today I wanted to update you guys on some things, on some new business ventures, and just basically, you know, take you through a vlog type of day because I feel like we haven't done that. And Steve is home tomorrow and we are going to be doing a challenge for you guys. So stay tuned for that video. But in the meantime, we're gonna do like a full day of eating today, I think. I think I haven't done eating with you guys for a while and I'm like back to my routine and feeling really good so I wanna take you through my day. I haven't eaten yet, it's like noon. But for some reason I feel like I love doing my training with my coach fasted and then doing my cardio after that. I don't know why. I do have a cup of coffee and my BCA, so maybe that does the trick. Um, I couldn't normally train an empty stomach, so I don't really know what's been going on, but I'm finding it really enjoyable, so that's what I'm doing. That's what works for me. It just means that I eat my last me meal quite late, which makes no difference because it works for my schedule, so yeah. So, I'm hungry, and it's time for breakfast, and breakfast is my favorite meal, and this one's a good one, so let's go eat. Then we can talk about other things, like food. Yeah, let's go. Oh, hello, kids. There's toys everywhere. Everywhere. You guys are like little children. Would you like to go outside, princess? She takes all of their toys outside. She buries them in the yard and hides them. From your brother. What a mean girl, hey? of oats and a tablespoon of almond butter but I'm out of almond butter so I use peanut butter and usually I have um, just like a small banana with my protein powder after my workout but I didn't have that yet I just had my shake with my greens in it so I'm also having my banana in the oats and the only thing I add to the oats is cinnamon because I feel like it's sweet enough with the fruit and I don't do very well with artificial sweetener so I try not to have a lot of it. Um, I find I get enough in my protein shake, my BCAs and if I have a protein bar that day that's just already overwhelming enough. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast and then I will probably start cleaning the house because well people go through here all day, every day and there's dogs so it gets messy. It gets and I might even wash my hair today, guys. Maybe.
guys, I just spent like two hours cleaning the house. I'm tired and I'm sweating and I'm a mess, but it feels so good. You know when you like do a full, good clean and your house just smells fresh and you feel so accomplished? Yeah, I feel like that. Lola, could you not? Just trying to get up my apple. So now I'm gonna have a snack. Again, like I said, I'm super behind on meals today, so just bear with me. We'll get them all in. Um, I did have quite a big meal for this, planned out for this uh, meal too, if you will, before, but it just wasn't working for me. Um, me and my coach are kind of doing like half meal plan, half macros right now, and I don't like big meals as snacks. I just need like two small snacks in the day to keep me rolling in between meals. So that's what we're doing. So I'm literally just having an apple and like 15 almonds until I have lunch. And I'll probably have lunch in like an hour and a half. Um, just because again, this is small, but I find I can't eat my actual meal. So I make my meals bigger and then my snacks smaller. So that's how the calories stay the same. Um, so I've done both full blown meal plan and macros. And I find that macros is just too much of a pain in the ass for me because I don't want to spend time making my own meal plan. I do that all day for clients. So I prefer to have, um, Nate tell me what to eat, but I also like to have a little bit of flexibility. So what we do, um, basically I have set out meals for most of the day and then I get like lunchtime, I have calories and macros and then at the end of the night I have portions um, with options. So I find that's really working really well for me right now because I am staying on my plan, I'm getting this shit in. Um, and I'm getting all my vitamins and my mineral, minerals and I am I know I'm getting everything in, but I also have the flexibility shall I need it. So that's what works for me. Um, if you guys want me to do a video that's more in depth of macros and meal plan and what the difference is and so on, if you're interested in that, please let me know. I'd be happy to do it. So I'm gonna have the snack right now and then I'm gonna take those monkeys for a walk because they're so rowdy right now. They spent like, basically the two hours outside eating bones and relaxing while I was cleaning so they were good but the energy is high so I'm gonna take them for a walk and then we're gonna be back and then I'm gonna take an actual shower I have lots of work to do I have um, digital district doing my new website so I'm so excited because my god it needs a facelift um, but I have a bunch of stuff to send to Darren to actually put on the website which I have not done and I have a few charities I'm working on. The Mother's Day charity, if you guys don't know what that is, please go look at my Facebook and my Instagram. Um, I'll be releasing details, full details, I think I said beginning of May, end of March. Um, but it's just an amazing opportunity to nominate a mother in your life that you feel is deserving and just could use a day to feel beautiful and special so I highly suggest you go check that out and nominate somebody from your life that you think deserves it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing and I am going to have a shower and wash my hair. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow so I'm so excited because it's so necessary but like I have so much oil and dry shampoo in this hair. It's time. It's time to wash it and I'm going to give myself a little tan because I'm looking pasty and I could, I could use a tan so I'll show you guys what I use to tan myself. In the meantime, I'm gonna eat and we're gonna go for a walk. Do you need a walk? Yeah, I think so. I think so. King. Nice teeth, Lola.
feel human again. I'm not going to do anything with my hair because, like I said, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, so I don't want to blow dry it. I actually don't wash my hair more than once a week, I'd say. Um, and it's growing and it's healthy because of it, so yeah. Yeah, but the products that you guys just watched me use, um, the Senna Tan obviously is the tanner that I use and I already feel like I'm getting a little bit dark. It does work really, really quick and it basically is like a progressive tanner. So if you are quite white and want to build a little bit more tan, um, you can do a couple of layers day after day kind of thing. I usually just require one. I'm quite dark to begin with, so it just gives me a little bronzy boost. So I'll leave you guys a discount code. I think I have one um, down below if you want to order your own. Senatan is all natural. They're vegan. They're organic. And they're just, they're amazing. I swear by them. I love them. Um, so speaking of skincare, the other products that you guys Watch me use are my very own and I'm so so excited if you guys follow me on Instagram then you already know this but I am starting my very own um, all natural beauty skincare line and I'm so excited about it and I've been giving out samples to clients and to friends and I've been trying it out on myself for a few months now and we're just kind of finalizing the smells and the products um, but what you saw me use was the face wash the face oil and the hair oil all the products are completely natural cruelty free they have essential oils vitamin E in them and they are Amazing! I've been wearing way less makeup lately, which I love, and all I've been doing is using those products. So yeah, it's been awesome. I can't wait for you guys to try them. I'm super excited. So yeah, this is what my office looks like right now because I'm working on it. So here's our little samples that are going to be going out, and I have cute little bags, and then those other bags are for the Titan Curvy clothing line, which is also coming this week. So lots of things to come guys I'm excited but now I'm gonna go and do some work I'm gonna answer some emails and then we gotta eat again yeah because this is my macro meal and we are in a hurry. We gotta go to the bank because I totally forgot we have a bank appointment at six o'clock because we're getting a joint bank account. Like how grown up is that? Anyways, this is a P28 pancake mix and it is white chocolate and it's really good and I love it and it does have four grams of fat. I'm looking for I think 12. So maybe we'll add some Nutella to that. Maybe. So I'm going to make a veggie shake, but I'm going to put protein powder in it because I looked again at those pancakes and they had about 14 grams and I'm looking for about 20, 25. Um, so I'm going to do like a scoop, maybe just half a scoop of protein powder, but I'm going to do spinach, carrots, um, some lemon juice, some cinnamon, maybe ginger. I hate the taste of ginger, but it's good for you. Maybe ginger. Yeah.
All right, I'm still working away. I was making thank you cards for the Team Titan Kirby clothing. That is coming in, so I have those ordered, but now I'm looking for a sticker for the Fresh Beauty line, and I'm struggling. I've been sitting here forever. Forever, but Marcus is gonna make dinner. And he's making homemade burgers with organic grass-fed beef. So yeah, I'm gonna keep working while he makes me some food. Well, who finally decided to finish his workout and make, make me some damn burgers. What's in these burgers? Meat. There you have it. Meat. All right, and here we have the masterpiece. It was totally worth the wait. It will be worth the wait. So I have four ounces of lean beef, one pita that I'm going to use for a bun. There's some onion, avocado, and a slice of cheese. What's that? It's organic, you guys. It's organic. Food. It tastes better. Actually, it tastes so much better. So let's eat! Yes. Yes. All right, guys, that's a wrap on today's video and on today's full day of eating. I hope that you enjoyed watching that. I hope that you got a few meal ideas. And basically, I just wanted to kind of wrap up by making a note pointing out that just because you are living a healthy lifestyle and you have fitness goals and you're working towards something doesn't mean that you can't have that type of balance in your life. So um, the reason that I finished the day off with the burgers that I wanted to show you guys that you can still have things like that is just finding the best ingredients, it's making it fit into your day and it's not going overboard. I mean, yeah, sometimes of course I want that you know, five guys burger with fries, but this fit perfectly into my meal plan. It's still gonna allow me to achieve my goals um, and I'm not gonna feel like shit the next morning. So of course I still give myself free feeds and free meals, but this is basically what I eat like every single day now. Usually, like I said, I have the fish or just chicken or some kind of lean protein at the end of the day with some veggies and nothing too exciting side of rice usually bro food if you like to call it that um, but I find I'm super satisfied with this type of dieting and this type of meal plan I'm getting plenty um, plenty of food I'm not hungry and I don't really have any cravings so I mean I'm not a big sweet tooth person to begin with but I find having even just my shake and my BCAs and having all of that is plenty and I really never used to eat fruit before so the fruit alone is, is sweet enough for me um, but yeah, so that's been kind of my my routine right now. Um, at the moment, I don't have anything specific fitness-wise planned. I am going to be doing a couple of photo shoots in the near future. They're just not really booked to the date yet, so I can't really say when that's going to be. Um, there will probably be one in April, though. That will be more of a lifestyle type of shoot for kind of social media content. So... Um, I'm not really going to change anything for that. I'm just going to stay on plan, keep doing my workouts and so on. I'm training about five to six days a week right now and I'm doing five to six days of cardio <clears throat> for about 35 minutes a day. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep keep doing the damn thing, you know? Um, I hope that, like I said, I hope you guys got some meal ideas from this. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see anything else, if you want to see more food videos if you want to see no more food challenges though seriously if you want to see workouts anything lifestyle things beauty things talk to me leave it in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next one bye